where do you see the unmanned surface vehicle market going? It's going to kind of explode. What we're seeing in that we're doing a bunch of war gaming for Australia and Japan and for the U.S., looking at uncrewed vehicles. And uncrewed surface vehicles are hugely important, it turns out, in doing uh, attacks against your enemy, right? So you can send these in like the Ukrainians have done, these attack boat yep. raids, if you can get them close enough or if your enemy gets close enough to you. Yep. So uh, in Taiwan, they're looking at using these as part of this uh, hellscape concept that the Indo-Pacific Command is, is looking to implement, where they basically put a bunch of these little boats in the water when it looks like Ch China might invade, and they're just going to go after Chinese amphibious ships on their way in. And it's a pretty easy shot for them because the Chinese ships are coming at you. You just need to drive at them and explode. <laughs> uh, so so it works great. So you got to put some other decoys out there to tr attract those incoming weapons away from you. So if you want to you know, survive, you got to put some some sacrificial lambs out there. And those sacrificial lambs are these little drone boats. So these small USVs uh, are going to be, I think, a huge market.